Today we have the Italian National Championships. Um, so this is like 23k to go. This is basically this lead selection that was done up the Galisterna where they did about seven watts per kilo for four minutes. Um, and you can see here we've got the power data from Soli Cobrelli with his with numbers on the left uh, and then obviously Hare on the right. And this is going up the Montecino um, climb, I believe. And the boys are just setting a good tempo up here. So like basically it was pretty reduced already it was like really flat and then they did loops of the world champ circuit from last year so it's pretty good but you can see sonny cobrelli's here with like Konashev from orica scott or bike exchange um and then also fausto masnada and then afini's on his wheel as well and you can see sonny cobrelli's going really really hard here 500 watts um which is about seven watts per kilo for him he's, he's like 68 70 kilos i believe sonny cobrelli um he's got the jersey open he's got this weird heart rate monitor that doesn't seem to have any straps this is the group uh behind um who I guess has a fair few decent favourites as well, like Nibali, Ciccone, Moscon, um, Carboni, um, and some others. Uh, it's a pretty strong chasing group. And uh, these are the boys uh, who I believe are just in between, um, who aren't getting across. And you can see here, it's a pretty steep climb, 15k an hour, like 500 watts. Here's Konashev, who's just got dropped uh, from the main group with, well, I guess the Colbrelli group, which we'll call it. Uh, there's Affini gone. There's Zuccarato, there's uh, Masnada, and there's Colbrelli. And Colbrelli here, I think, is, you know, he knows he's the strongest sprinter in this group by far. Like, I mean, any of these people, the only one who could maybe get close to him is Affini. Uh, but that's really realistically it. So there's actually no need for him to do this. Like, he should just be happy to just see what Avron does. But I guess his, his point is, is that if he attacks, um, sorry, if he rides really hard, like he is now, then no one's going to attack, and that's why he's going to get dropped. Like, if they just ride really, really hard on the front the whole time, um, then it's re it really does suit him. So they're getting towards the top of the climb, so you can see here the Montecino, Cine, Cime Galisterna, um, they go through Imola as well, um, and so we're on the last, um, the climb of the Montecino, and then we're going to go up the Galisterna, which is obviously where Alaphilippe attacked in the World Championships last year. And then they go through Emila, but they don't actually finish on the motor racing circuit. Um, so Zoccarato is still is the body on GSF Faisane rider who behind. Um, and Cobre is still in the front, pushing pretty hard. 22k to go. He knows he just needs to ensure that he is a small bunch finish and he's guaranteed to win this. And if you're Masnada, you've got to think, okay, I've got to attack, I've got to attack. But the issue is when Sonny Cobrelli is on a, on a day like this where he's really, really strong, um, you know, it, it, it's hard to beat him. Like, in, uh, he's, you know, he's finished third i think it was in amstel goal before when he rode for bardiani uh we've now skipped ahead to the galistano so you can see it's 2.7k six percent max 14 um but basically the last bit is really really steep and this is where unfortunately for zuccarato that he gets spat pretty early on um and to be honest for him it was always going to be hard i mean these guys are obviously outrageously good fausto masnada is is super super strong but here he gets a ball from the team car Colbrelli gets the front and starts just absolutely whacking at like 550, 500 watts. And to be honest, for a lot of people, that's just game over. You're not really going to be able to hold on to that, especially this um, late into the race. is like a 240 kilometer, no, 224 kilometer race. So they were about 200 and what, 10k in, um, which is pretty tough. There's Nibali, Formolo, um, Ciccone, um, all the guys are pretty much there. Carboni, Moscon. Um, they're all behind. Uh, it says they're doing 26k now, probably a little bit less, but you can see here it's pretty steep here, 13k an hour, 500 watts. And this is surprising why Masnada can't attack because you think, if anything, this is where it's going to really suit Masnada. Someone who's slightly lighter, very good climber, top 10 in the Giro last year, I believe. And you really thought this is where he's going to attack. Zoccarato is just like, okay, I just need to get a podium. If he gets a podium, that's a huge result for him. So realistically, that's all he has to do. He just has to keep going and going and going. While Cobrelli and Masnada, you know, I don't think he, none of them have won the, the champs, Italian national champs before. So, you know, they're really just both, I guess, super dedicated for it. But in my eyes, they're never going to get caught. With the two minute advantage, it's not going to happen. So if you're Fausto Masnada, you're like, okay, I need to make sure that I can drop Colbrelli and go solo because otherwise I'm never going to win. So I think on this climb, if I was him, I, and okay, this is obviously a big if because you might not have necessarily have the legs, but I think what you've got to do um, is ensure that you attack when possible. So for instance, every time it's a little bit steep you go but you also don't pull any really any turns okay maybe this isn't too bad but then you know you don't pull smooth you go up you go down you make sure it's really really hard for solo Cabrelli because the issue is if you ride a steady tempo which you can see here the power is pretty decent like 450 to 500 watts quite consistently then Cabrelli probably won't get dropped and i don't think zoccarato is someone who you've really got to worry about i think you know 
maybe for Masnada it's more of a worry. But anyway, basically nothing happens. We're going to skip forward to two kilometers ago because over the top Zoccarato gets spat and is just on his own in no man's land. And we're going to skip ahead basically to these guys who solo down the whole way. Nothing really happened. And they didn't attack. And I think Masnada now should be pulling no turns. I think as soon as they go over the top of the climb, which they did um, solo with a big gap, like now it's two and a half minutes. Zoccarato is 30 seconds back. If I'm Masnada, I'm not pulling a single turn. There's no way you should be pulling a turn with Colbrelli. Like, he's a pure bunch sprinter. Like, he won the stage in Romandy. Um, he's so, so strong. I don't really get why you'd want to do any pulls. And I think, obviously, looking how strong Soli Colbrelli is today, I think there's a very good chance he can win the, the green jersey competition if he targets that just because he's got such good climbing legs. Um, but yeah, Masnada now with one and a half K to go, it makes no sense. Like, why, why would you do that? Um, you should just be sitting on and just cruising. Like, there's no need to pull a turn. Colbrelli will do all the work he needs to. Colbrelli knows that if he if he stays away, he's going to win the sprint. And I think if you're faster than Masnada, you just say, okay, it's up to you. You take me to the line. And then, you know, when they get closer to maybe one, one kilometer to go, you launch an attack and see if you've tired him out because he's on the front the whole time. And I think that's your best chance because you've wasted all the rest of the times to go. You haven't gone on the downhill. You haven't gone on the climb. It's now flat. It's going to be really hard for you to get away from Sonny Colbrelli. But... That's your only choice. If you take it to the line, we all know that he's going to get beaten. So with one kilometer to go, he's just he just hasn't done well here. Like, I don't really know if they... Maybe they didn't have a team radio, but if someone had said to him, Zoccarato's 30 seconds behind, everyone else is two and a half minutes, he definitely would have played this different. I'm almost certain. Or maybe he just was like, you know what, second is fine. Like, that's good. Like, he seems to be on the radio here. Maybe they, you know, because of the... There was another rider behind him as well. They couldn't really get all the details. I'm not 100% sure. However, it just doesn't really add up their tactics today. Uh, well, no, I guess his tactics in the last like bit because he couldn't drop him on the climb, I guess. So he didn't seem like he tried very much. But on the flat also, he didn't. So Colbrelli is now here and he's just like getting a lead out to the line. Outrageous. Just too easy. Too easy. And we watch here with 600 meters to go. We've got the power on the left. So just keep an eye on that. He hits some pretty outrageous numbers around this right-hand corner. Not too long to go now. It's sort of a gentle left-hand corner into the final straight. Um, and then, you, you know, now, I mean, it's just a joke. Like, Masnada has basically just let out Colbrelli here. Colbrelli's checking behind. He's like, okay, there's no one there. It's calm. Motorbike pulls off here. And the sprint's like about 300 meters to go from this point here. And Masnada decides to lead it out and start sprinting here. Colbrelli says, cheerio. Thanks for coming. Wax it up to like 1300 and just comes around and like, no, tomorrow. Another kick up to 1300. And then cheerio. Up to like 56k an hour, I think it was. And just dusts him off like no tomorrow. I mean, huge win for Sonny Colbrelli. Massive win. I think he's a big favorite for the green jersey, in my opinion, if he goes for it. Because he's climbed so well. He won the stage in Romandy after doing 5.8 for 20, which is huge at the end of the stage for Colbrelli. And obviously, he's got a good kick. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. Sonny Colbrelli is a legend. Big win for the boy. Um, and it'll be exciting to see what he does at the tour. So, anyway, cheers for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.